and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a haul because the other day I was sat down trying to think of videos to do and what I hadn't done for a while and one of those videos was a haul. I haven't done a haul in such a long time, mainly because I haven't really bought anything very exciting, like I haven't gone out and had like a massive shopping spree or anything like that. I don't ever really do that. Yeah, like you know when you just go shopping you're like right I really want to haul this. I've never had that moment whereas now I'm a bit like I've got a couple of things that I can show you that makes it worthwhile a haul. So yes, after that ramble, today's video is a haul if you haven't guessed, but I've got some clothing items, I've got some tech items, I've got organised items, yeah, really random, um, so I'll just get straight into it. I treated myself to a file of facts. I personally think they're quite expensive for an organiser, but I couldn't resist this pattern. How adorable is this pattern? It just screams spring and summer to me, and I fell in love with it, so I had to get it. I cannot remember how much it was, but I think it was a nearly £30 or maybe just over £30. This is the like middle size, you can get a smaller one or you can get a bigger one. I haven't seen a file of facts before. Inside these are all like refillable things and you can repurchase them. The ones that you want to use you can take out, the ones that you don't use, that sort of thing. On this side you've got like little card holders, not sure what I would put in there but maybe business cards or something. But then you've got all the sections, so you've got notes, um, that's also my diary section, I'm showing you very well on my diary section. Then you've got the notes section which has pretty coloured paper in. Then you've got the addresses section, I have one address I'm really really popular and then you've got, I've just got like my list like to do kind of section there and then that's pretty much it. I'm determined to get organised this year because I'm the most unorganised person ever and I'm so prone to like double booking myself. I'm so not used to like doing things that when someone asks me to do something I'll just say yes because I'll just assume that I'm free but I'm probably not. Whereas now I can check in my file facts. I have for a really long time been seeing denim skirts around for ages and I'm always so late when it comes to like trends. I like, like looking at them like yeah yeah I really need to get that, I really need to get one of those. I like, really like that. And then I get to the time where it's like you can't really wear them, although well, this one you can wear, but where they've been around for a really long time and then I'll decide to go and buy one and this denim skirt is exactly that. But I'm quite fussy with it, it's taken me a while to try and find it. This one is from Miss Selfridge, hopefully you can see it. So you've got the silver hardware all down the bottom, down the bottom, down the middle, and you've got the two pockets, there's no pockets at the back, it's just like a plain skirt. I really like it with this top. I think it was £28 and this one is a size 8. Miss Selfridge I find comes up really, really small. Like I'm not big but the 6 would not do up. So yeah, I went for an 8. So if you're going for Miss Selfridge I would probably say try on like your size and the size above just to make sure. But yeah, I mean it's such a classic like basic piece of denim skirt and it will literally go with anything. Like I can wear it in the winter as well with tights and like maybe like a big jumper over the top or something. Moving on. Denim mini skirt, Miss Selfridge, £28. Next was Zara. I was actually trying to find a top to go with this skirt and I brought two others and I returned them because when I tried them on when I got home they literally looked awful. I find Zara really hit and miss, like I absolutely love everything that is in Zara but I feel like it's made for a certain body type and I am not that body type so only certain things suit me. I always find things I really really like and I buy them because I always go shopping on my lunch break so you never have time to try them on. So I buy them and I bring them home and I try them on and I'm like that does not look good. So I return them. So that was what happened with this and then I went back and I found this and the other item. Actually no, that's a lie. We'll carry on. But I went back and I found this. It's just like a stripey, it's not a crop top but it's not long if that makes sense. It's really casual like oversized t-shirt and it just says don't copy trends, create them which I really liked because let's be honest I'm not the most fashionable person so I create my own trends. It is like um not, it's not white, it's like an off-white, like a creamy colour with black stripes across it and then this bit is like a faux leather and it's like it's just stitched on I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up but it's like it's got like edging like stitching all around the outside but this goes perfectly like I wore it on date night I wore it with a pair of jeans and nice black like ankle heeled boots it would go perfectly with that denim skirt which is what I bought it for really easy like a throw on everyday t-shirt it's just you can't really go wrong with it let's be honest the reason I went into Zara is because I've seen this coat absolutely everywhere and you're probably gonna be like screaming at the camera being like everyone has that coat because they kind of do now and like, I'm seeing it everywhere but I've been looking for like a smart coat for a really really long time and I'm so fussy when it comes to coats like the last coat I bought it took me whole winter and I bought it for the next winter like that's how long it took me to find the perfect coat so when I saw this I was a bit like I kind of have to get it because otherwise I'll regret it let's be honest um, so it is this coat I'm going to try and show it I haven't done it up but it's like grey double breasted with the massive massive pockets on the side and you've got the like the little flaps at the back and the really big collars, collars, 
collar. It was £70 and I've got it in an extra small. I tried the small on and the girls at work were like, mm -mm, way too big. Like, I've got small shoulders and it was like out here, mm -mm, not good look. Yep, I absolutely adore this coat. It's perfect for this time of year where it's still kind of cold outside so you want to keep warm, but you don't need to wear like your big puffer coats, your snow coats as I like to call them. You don't need to wear those anymore and you can wear it undone just with like a nice scarf over it. And I just needed a smart coat. Like the coat that I've got is perfect. Like it keeps me warm, it's perfect for going to and from work, that sort of thing. But when I'm going out or like I'm getting dressed up for something, all I have is my leather jacket and that's, let's be honest, leather jackets aren't the warmest things in the world. So yeah, I really wanted a nice smart coat with a colour that would literally go with anything in any season and this was just it for me and I adore it and I don't know what else to say, I just really, really like it. <laughs> on to my latest obsession. These are both from Amazon. I mentioned in a previous video, I can't remember which one it is. I'm kind of obsessed with marble at the moment. I think it was a favourites video and I have got a marble phone case now and I'd like to point out, it was 1p. 2 99 postage, so it was £3 in total, which is still pretty cheap for a phone case, um, but it's really simple, white and light grey marble and it just covers down the sides, like that. Like You can't really go wrong for 1p. What else can you say about a phone case? It's hard. It's a hard phone case. Um, I've dropped it many times and we're still good. So is the phone. No breakages yet. Yeah, it does what it needs to do and I think it looks really good. Sticking on the marble theme, um, I also picked up a marble laptop. I told you I'm obsessed with marble. This was £15, I think. It's literally just a hard case, it like clips onto the laptop here. I've got a MacBook Pro, the 13 inch one. So, And I think they, they I think you can get it for every single size laptop, which is really good. And then you get the bottom bit as well to match. I have also ordered white keys so that the keys are white. But yes, I absolutely love this. And the, half the reason I've got it is, okay, it's marble and I really like it. But also, who finds that their MacBooks get covered in like makeup fingerprints and you just cannot get it off and it just looks awful and it was really, really bugging me. So when I saw this case, I was just like, well, it's meant to be. So I'll go and get it. So I did. And that's my haul for you all. Really small, as I said. <laughs> I don't know what I just choked on then. That's up this video. If you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments what your most re recent purchase was, where it was from, why I bought it. Because I'm nosy and I really want to know. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe. I'm so close to 700 subscribers. It's crazy. Help me get there. Come on. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going a bit crazy. I really need to eat some dinner. I think that's why I'm a bit loopy right now. But I will see you in the next video.